I'm Claire. I'm an avid reader, aspiring writer, and I collect a lot of books. Vance and I have been married for 42 wonderful, crowded years. My name is Vance. I'm a teacher and a book lover from way back. In this house, we have two very familiar phrases. I love you and timber. Books are our passion. We're talking about them constantly. We are omnivores of every kind of information. I've seen Tesla that are over 200, so I'm not single focused. I instruct in some 31 different subjects, ranging from mathematics, political science, geography, psychology, all at the college level. I'm Lynn, and I'm one of Claire's oldest friends. How they manage to live their daily lives in that house, it boggles my mind. We have books that go to nine feet high in places. On the first floor, it is wall-to-wall -wall books with only a narrow path through it. My kitchen is not a kitchen anymore. It takes a little bit of uh, dexterity to get to the stove. So mainly we eat out. Uh, we find that uh, getting up and down the stairs can be a challenge. Next to my bed, I have a pile of books. And then in the middle of the night sometime, it's timber. Everything comes down on me. I think the conclusion we reached is that we have a limit. Uh, we have reached that limit. I don't believe they were that concerned about the books until it really has become an actual safety issue because of Vance's health. My biggest fear is for my husband's health. Anything can happen at any time, and the EMTs absolutely could not get him out of the house. I'm Dorothy Brenninger. I'm a professional organizing expert, and I specialize in hoarding. You're starting from up. Here. Yeah, and it's got to come out. Boxes on this side, loose stuff on the left. Oh my gosh! It's incredible. There are no walls to see, none. <laughs> How am I going to organize that? I have no clue. We've got all this stuff out here, and Vance has been standing for about an hour. Yeah. He just watches. Is that normal behavior? Pretty much. OK. Vance is totally resistant to this process. He has not done one single thing. She's doing it all alone. Special box, half price, please. Garbage. To just ask him if you could make the decisions. He's going to take a hell of a lot more consoling than I can give him at this point. He is seeing his life disrupted. Is there something that you'd rather us be doing? No, no, this is all very entertaining, and uh, well, We're I'm... not here for entertainment. I'm not fooling around. I'm here for a real reason. Vance definitely thinks this is not a crisis. Vance can't see how books can be a danger to anybody. Books are not dangerous. Books don't bite. Books are not snakes. What I'm here to do is actually change your life. But do you want your life to be changed? Well, at age 60, a new life is probably an unaffordable luxury. How about a space for your home where you don't have the city of Chicago knocking at your door? You always have the city of Chicago knocking at your door. OK, so why are we here, then? Yeah, real estate interests. Well, we're trying to fend them off. We'll see how successful we are okay. or not. It's really nasty to be working on a job where you are totally unappreciated. Okay. 
player's plan at this point is that she is going to let go of as much as she possibly can to go to accommodate what her husband has. I'm Dr. Suzanne Chabot, and I'm a specialist in obsessive compulsive disorder and hoarding. Please go. Yeah, this whole pile goes. Please go. Right that stays. She's very protective of him. She is not going to push him to get rid of things. That's Vance's. Everything in here is his. All these are his. Because Vance is ill. Vance can't take stress on his heart. This is chaos to him. He needs to sit down quietly by himself to keep his heart healthy. Bye. That's Vance's on the bottom. Okay. That last big book is Vance's. So I love seeing Claire love her husband so much that she's willing to give up some of the things that are important to her. Goodbye. Goodbye. But it's going to come to a point where he's going to have to let go of some things for that house to be safe. So here's what happened. The tallest bookshelf of all totally fell on my guys. I know, that was wedged in there. With this. I know. And this. If you were my mom, I would say to you, I got to get a stretcher in here in case Vance has a heart attack. There's no rule. Maybe it's a good thing that this bookshelf fell down on us and not you. But no more. You have to take care of yourselves. So here's my concern, Dr. Chabot. Where is Vance? Just tell me why he's not here. I know you, can, you don't want to speak for him. I know you love him, no, but why I, isn't I... he here? OK. All right, Vance, take a little seat with your wife. If she saw that the reason why you died, or felt that the reason why you died was because the room was so hoarded they couldn't get to you, Claire, you would have a very hard time knowing that maybe he, he died because of it. If it came down to that, absolutely. We're going to make the staircase safe, take some of those dangerous things out of the downstairs, some of the piles and stuff. We're going to sort them. You've got a lot of books mixed in there that that I know you can get rid of. That's exactly what I like. I, that's where you need to go. No, no flipping. Come on. We don't have time for flipping. Uh, travel subject. Out. At least now he's down there with Dr. Chabot and books are coming out that he is giving away. The magazines go, the, a lot of these reference materials go. That can go, that can go, that can go. I think Vance actually has had a breakthrough. I'm guilty of thinking that the answers in life come from books and they decidedly do not. I think that's really, really important what you just said. Just please remember that when you're going through your books. This is books in print. Out, out. Those, this goes um, out. Uh, trash, out. I really think that we're looking anywhere between 200,000 to 500,000 books. There are 26 rooms in this house, but we only cleared two. But we sent out about 10 tons worth of books. Well, thank you anyway. I'll take the hunt from you anytime. You lead the way, Dorothy. Oh. OK, we're coming in. Oh, my god. Oh, gee. oh my God! Look at it. Oh wow! Oh, we have a living room and it's gorgeous. Oh, it's it, it's unbelievably great. I'm going to keep what I absolutely want. 
and get rid of what I absolutely do not. This is going to be an ongoing process. This, I think this is a huge positive change. Oh. This is just fantastic. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.